Hi, Dr. Santora. I'm Drew from Santa Ana, California. Do glucosamine and chondroitin really help for joint pain? Glucosamine and chondroitin are one of the most widely used herbal supplements in this country, sales approaching almost a billion dollars per year. It comes in a liquid form, it comes in a tablet that's glucosamine alone, and the most common one is glucosamine and chondroitin. Since it's not approved by the FDA because it's an herbal supplement, we don't really know the dose. So if you do take one of these, you have to follow the package instructions. The real question is, does it work? The idea is that the glucosamine, which is derived from the shell of a shellfish, restores the cartilage in the joint, the cushion in the joint. And it also prevents the breakdown of the cartilage. And the chondroitin is a lubricant. It comes from the cartilage, most likely of a cow, and is to make the joint space slipperier and so it prevents the joint bone from pushing on each other, which cuts down pain and inflammation. Many studies have been done comparing it to placebo, and all, if not most, have shown that it does not do any better than placebo in relieving joint pain. They also did x-rays to see if it maintained the cartilage, if the cartilage improved, if the joint space where the cartilage is was maintained, and the studies show that it was no better than placebo. So what is the downside to taking it? The downside is that it costs 50 cents to $2 per day, and that it may cause some gastrointestinal problems like gas, bloating, diarrhea. If you're a diabetic, sometimes it can raise your blood sugars, and if you're on blood thinners like warfarin, it can make you bleed easier. So blood thinners and diabetics are not a good mix with this. So my feeling is that it doesn't work, but if you wanna try it, you should give it at least two months to three months to see if it works. If it doesn't work by that time, it's unlikely to work. Very good question, thanks for asking.